Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the next match, Losers Round 5 between Pangolin and Dave Smith Says. And if I have clicked all the right boxes and uh, appeased the technology gods, I believe I have a co-commentator with me, none other than Betty B. Betty, are you there? I am. Hi, love, and hi, hi everyone in chat. You are here. Okay, perfect. I believe everyone can hear you. Chat, if you can't hear Betty, please let me know. Uh... I had to bring somebody in here. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't keep carrying the commentary by myself. So I figured, hey, here's a perfect opportunity before Betty's next match to get her in here. Alrighty. Hey, we all know you do a great job in commentary. So, uh, and this is a great match coming up here against Pangolin versus Dave Smith says. Dave Smith says wanting a rematch with me. I I have that confirmed in a uh, chat message with him. So we'll see what he can <laughs> do here. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Perfect. Well, uh, let's. Get it started. I'm gonna have to let the players know that they are good to go. Uh, let me just quickly do that now. Sorry, folks. This is uh, uh, it's a one-man show here, so I'm doing my best. And what a great show it is, right? Uh, well, <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, the players have been given the go-ahead, and will be started very shortly. Oh, oh, chill. My favorite music, but <laughs> we already have um, a bit of a discrepancy on how they opened up these boards, um, and I'm really kind of liking what Pangolin is having set up on her side. Absolutely, yeah. Pangolin, a, a very new player, uh, relatively speaking, to the monthly checkup. Um, she's played in the last few, and she has impressed basically every time. I've been really impressed by her, her play, uh, and her results uh, have been awesome. So I, she's, this has been a killer month for her, too. She's made a really deep run so far. We're going to have to see if she can get past Dave Smith says. Yeah, absolutely. And um, one thing to note, uh, she is a new player to um, the community, but she has uh, been in a regional before and um, made, made you know, through that very, very well. So she's not, um, you know, a newbie when it comes to actual tournament play. Oh, for sure. I mean, if you just watch her decision making, you can tell very quickly that this isn't her first rodeo. She, yeah. uh, she knows what's going on. Absolutely. Oh, watch this clear from Penguin. Yeah, I mean, she was in. She was looking like she was in a bit of trouble at the start, but now it's flipped around, and now Dave is stuck at the top of his board, and basically all columns finding a great setup to make a little space wow. for himself, but he is not yet clear. Yeah, and Dave typically goes for those horizontal plays, the ones that you don't really see, but he just, I, I think that's the way his brain works, and if anybody knows Dave Smith, you know that's indeed the case. <laughs> oh, and a, a top out there by Dave, but um, right on to the next match. Here yeah, we the go. pressure was a little too much there at the top of the screen for him, but he's going to take it in stride into the next one. Wow, interesting setup from Pangolin on her left side to get her opening combo. Ooh. No, and on, Sorry, yeah, on Dave's side, I think he was looking for uh, setting up a T there, um, and maybe to the detriment of just being so far up his board and needing a specific pill, so, but he gets that T anyway, and gosh, oh. really playing high. Yep, he's gonna have to make some safety moves here, as you can see, he's now made a little more space in the center, he has a nice setup on the right to bring it down, uh, and uh, it looks like he is gonna be in relative safety safety now, but uh, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that he's going to be safe forever. All it's going to take is a few more setups from Penguin, and she's going to knock down a triple send to his board, wow. breaking a setup for Dave in the center. Yeah, and I, oh, I love the setup that she's starting with, because, again, she's just seeing drop clears that she can set up easily, and and taking them. Absolutely. Did not take the, uh, the double blue clear, and just keeping those available to her. Um, I like that, that fourth that fourth off for her. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it seems to be working out because once again, Dave is looking significantly higher up on the board. He will oh, knock it down a little bit here. Yeah. And setups just keep coming for Pangolin. But Dave is throwing a little bit of trash that will get in her way just a bit there. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I just... She has threes everywhere, and that's what you're looking for when you play this game, is just those setups to where you can fire a combo at any time to slow your opponent down. And that's definitely what she's doing. Uh, there, I, I, it was a while ago, but I have to address in the insane combo that Dave Smith pulled off on his left side, and now his board is looking very much, very clear, much cleaner than it was moments ago. Yeah, and he's just bringing down his board as well. Jeez, this is just a back and forth match for sure. Absolutely. Relatively even, 35 to 33 in virus count. Approximately the same height on the board. Uh, things are really sort of shifted back to, to an even state here. Now, one thing I did mention in chat after watching Pangolin a bit, um, it doesn't seem like she makes very many tough plays. She is kind of a top-down player, but it really doesn't slow her down at all, and I actually have been wanting to take a little bit of her play style and, and maybe apply it to my own. So I've, I've been loving seeing the new, um, you know, the new way of playing this game. Yeah, I, I mean, I do feel, I kind of agree with you there, I do feel like she could uh, maybe look for more horizontal opportunities when they come mm -hmm. up, but uh, it doesn't seem to, to phase her and slow her down at all. She is just, uh, the most important thing that she's doing is just making her decisions in a timely manner, uh, because yeah. if you slow down and you use, spend too much time to think, your opponent's going to just find a setup and bury your plans anyway, so she doesn't waste any time, and that's really important. Oh, I know that all too well. <laughs> oh no, I, absolutely not. I, I mean, I was just saying in the last game you were playing, you had uh, incredible, uh, like your kill speed is just incredible. Uh, it's, I feel like it's, I feel like it's something you've worked on. I, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I feel like I can just tell that you spent some time focusing on that. Absolutely. Well, that was the one thing that was uh, getting me um, in a lot of games. But yeah, the, these players absolutely have their pill speed going as well. Actually, Dave just kind of lets his pill just float, but he knows where it's going. <laughs> So. Yeah, it's like he's trying to talk himself out of it, maybe? I don't know. I don't claim to know what's happening in, in the mind of Dave. I don't think anyone can, realistically. Uh, but it is uh, is seeming to maybe working against him here. He's uh, starting to fall behind in board health. Uh, Pangolin does have some really tall columns and an uneven board, but I would say overall cleaner. Although this garbage may change things very soon. Yeah, but every time you you say, oh, Dave has a unclean board, he makes these amazing clears that take out, you know, a ton of trash along the way. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know how he sees it, but he does, and it it's just amazing to watch sometimes. It's impossible. Uh, the best thing about playing Dave is it's impossible to tell what he's going to do, so there's no way you, you can spoil it. It's always a surprise <laughs> when he's playing. <laughs> Probably to him as well, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to be unfair to Dave. I'd like to think that he has a master plan going on in there that is maybe just beyond us, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he's surprised himself a couple of times playing this game over the years. But yeah, you are correct that Pangolin is kind of... She's just making clean setups and simple plays that bring down her board. And, and watch this, another T given to her by some trash from Dave. So, just making great work. Wow! One after another combo. Absolutely, yeah. She has some amazing setups here. She has a blue yellow she's going to knock down. This red blue is going to make another triple to follow that up. And this drop time is going to be killer for Dave. He's going to be locked here for quite some time while she starts preparing this endgame. Amazing. Oh, there's a tuck. There's a tuck. Okay, I take, I eat my words. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they are tasty. I, I, I mean, I would not recommend listening to the stream while you're playing, but uh, maybe she is taking some advice on the fly. Who can say? Oh, and you can see yeah. if she clears that ye that yellow, she's gonna be set up for that red horizontal. And so, yeah, she kind of has this unless uh, Dave can start yep. uh, turning on the trash generation. One red away, and I don't know if he can make enough garbage to clear it. He'd have to get the perfect garbage here, and it is not to be. That's going to be game two. Pangolin going up 2-0 against Dave Smith says. Wow. GG's already. <laughs> yep, and they're going right into it. I, that's the thing I've noticed. I feel like, especially online, people don't want to sit around and wait. They just want to get to the next one. They can't. They 
Yes, whether win or lose, they are just raring to go. They want to just get into the next game as soon as possible. The courtesy three seconds is what, what I try to strive for, you know? <laughs> like, just the, hey, good job, but let's get going. <laughs> Yeah, Pangolin's uh, looking a little scary at the top here, but she manages to find a great horizontal wow, setup, yeah. making me eat my words at this point. Uh, but she's, yeah, and here she, I think she might be listening to the stream. Now, all of a sudden, there's all these horizontals happening. What is going on here? This is crazy. But yeah, he's just tearing down this board, but they, on the other hand, you know, setting up things that I, I can see because, like, I, I say this all the time. Dave and I play very similar uh, games here, um, and and so I see the mind of Dave a little bit, and I love it. I love watching it, and I can see the setups, and he's doing a great job. I always assumed that if I peered into the mind of Dave for real, I would just be traumatized and horrified by the by the ultimate truth of the universe that I might find. But I mean, if maybe you're just a, a stronger person than I am, I don't know. Yeah, to withstand. <laughs> And I have the willpower, or the sanity, I don't know. Pass my sanity check. <laughs> oh, yep. look at this! Absolutely. Look at that drop clear by Dave! Sending four pieces of trash over. Blocking Penguin's setup. Yeah, at a very crucial moment for what she was trying to set up. Jeez. And again, yeah, this is looking like trouble for Pangolin now. This is a more substantial lead than I think we've seen all match from either player that Dave is, is showing us now. Now, Dave did decide to take a um, a clear that, that ended up having four straight columns of yellow. Pangolin has uh, since uh, given him some color diversity in those columns, but, but man, I don't know if I would have taken that. But now, look what he makes out of it. So I... I don't know. Yep. Good job, Dave. He is unfortunately going to combo himself on that one, as uh, Pangolin is at. In, in the time that we've discussed it, uh, she's brought the board down back to yep. a relatively low level. It turns out when you just have a lot of setups just covered by one, maybe one straight piece of garbage, you can start to knock them all out once you just find that linchpin to break through and start getting your combos. Mm -hmm. Dave again having a bunch of just red right in the middle of his board which is great if you can also get some red pills given by the doctor, but right now that's not the case. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, and now it's, it's just as so soon as, uh, this is... Wow, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> uh, as soon as uh, you think that Dave is in a particularly good spot, it seems like it completely flips around, and he's in the situation his opponent was in uh, not too long ago. This is uh, a, a really nice turnaround for Pangolin here. Well, one of the things the players definitely have to uh, deal with is when that trash falls, does a better play present itself? So always being um, able to kind of be flexible with what's been given um, is is good. And sometimes that flexibility is the hardest part to master. Mm -hmm. so. I, would, I mean, as someone who is versed in, in versus and speed run, no pun intended, uh, <laughs> have you, uh, would you say that um, that, that may be one of the harder abilities for, um, for speedrun players to are coming into versus i i i would say that's absolutely the case because also speedrunners aren't used to trash at all mm -hmm, exactly. you know and so having to deal with something that they think is the quickest play not now being the quickest play mm -hmm. it really is it, it's hard to to deal with and i think that's um that's something that these versus players are able to do. Mm -hmm. I would say both of these players are well versed in that, and uh, Pangolin is uh, starting to pull ahead a little bit on board health here. Both players very close in virus count, but I would say that uh, Pangolin's got a much stronger end game. She's looking to take this set series and sweep Dave 3 0 here if she can just get to the end game here. Yeah, absolutely, and and her, again, her board is just so um, you know flat, and we we love to see that because that limits you know a little bit of the drop time that that you get in a versus match. So, gosh, and I can see like I can see the end path for her with the set. Oh, but that little bit of trash will slow her down a little bit. A little bit, um, yeah. It's gonna make her horizontal ideas for to clear at the bottom right uh, a little blocked off. But, um, I mean, anything, it's certainly not an unwinnable position. She's just going to have to work for it a little harder. Yeah, and 
Oh, if they would have tucked down that uh, that blue red, he would have been able to get that. But it's not gonna slow him down again. He he's making combos out of it, and you know now it's almost swinging into his direction. Yep, he's he did exactly what he needed to do, and he got aggressive at the right time to to pull things back in his favor at the right moment. Um, this blue is surrounded, luckily, by all reds, so he can get to it relatively easily. Um, but Pangolin is just three viruses away. Uh, the red virus uh, is looking like it's gonna be the next easy one to hit um i don't i mean you know you see how the pills fall but it, i don't know how she's gonna get to this blue and this yellow unfortunately dave is free and clear only two viruses away with a red wow. and a yellow completely exposed in the bottom right corner yeah dave just again like you said turned turned on what he needed to used his uh speed uh prowess to kind of get this game under un, under control and now he knows exactly what he needs to do play this red column eight drop this blue and now this crown goes to Dace Masos. he is on the board and it is now 2-1 that was so close hopefully uh pangolin can rally back and, and keep the mental game in check uh going into this next game here by the way i see you in there barrett i see you in chat <laughs> is he spreading rumors yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heard it through the grapevine, but incorrect information. Oh no. Uh, Pangolin oh, is does have a good start here, but this misdrop is going to need to be turned into a combo here, or it might be an issue. Nope, looks like she is going to find it. And Dave Smith now, looking yeah. like he's very close to the top of the screen, he is going to have to knock this down, and hopefully he can do it before Pangolin turns up the aggression here. And you, you see him going, um, opting for a horizontal setup with those yellows, and that's definitely a great play when somebody's stacking on top of you. And so he takes it. <laughs> Look at this! What an Look amazing find for Dave. That was an yes. awesome setup to get a, send a huge combo and clean up his board health situation. And now uh, oh, Chuck, uh, oh. Pangolin is getting even closer to the top of the screen. Looks like she is going to be safe now. But uh, this is uh, not looking... Not looking free for either player by any means right now. Yeah. I think Penguin is going to try a little bit of playing underneath um, and maybe trying to get these blues. Yep, that's exactly what she's trying to do. This blue horizontal to drop into that yellow clear perfect play right there. Oh, wonderful. Very yeah, good. It opens up a huge amount of space in the center here for her. Uh, her edges are looking pretty good too. Dave with an even board, but still very high up. And that blue garbage is going to be horrible. Unable to be cleared vertically. It's just too high up. And yeah, he's definitely going to want to have some and he's gonna, plays. As he does with those doubles, a wonderful move by Dave. And then he's going to find another this. setup to bring it back. Try to bring it back to parity. And it suddenly it doesn't look so, uh, so decisive anymore. These people, they got my heart racing and it's not even my matchup. <laughs> yeah, you're one to talk. Did you did you watch that game against TV Moto? My goodness. It's amazing. I just have, <laughs> I had so much fun. Like, that's the thing. It's like, there's never a bad match because everybody is getting so progressively better. It's, it's great. Um, so Penguin on her side has kind of a bit of a chasm in the middle of her board. Um, and needing to... Ooh, that yellow like having color. a lot of drop time because of it, so... She's gonna clear that yellow uh, garbage in column 7 and then knock her setup down. That was well that was well good. played. Very clutch by Pangolin. If she had let that mm -hmm. fester, that could have been... That could have thrown the game for her. Yeah, that's something, again, uh, that you really need to plan for. I think you also plan for it in verses, but making sure that those sides don't get cluttered and um, making sure that you're continuing to just bring your board down little by little to oh, I limit could, that drop. Point. I could... I could... No, I could give you a whole podcast worth of material on what you just said. So we're not going to go there, but I, let's just say I agree with, with your uh, with your analysis on that one. But anyway, I don't want to give away too many of my uh, opinions here. Uh, but Pangolin now in a dangerous position at the top of her board. I don't know if a setup went awry here. She's going to knock it down, but it's going to cause a lot of drop time for her. It's going to give Dave time. Dave is not that far down the board himself either, but at least his board is, is uh, relatively even with some setup ideas here. But honestly, look at the virus count, Lev. Like, yeah, she's high up here, but she she got 
she has so much fewer viruses that she's trying to go for. Well, that's true, and... but that virus count doesn't matter if you're dead, yeah. and she's getting dangerously close to the top. Luckily, this garbage will clear a horizontal row for her, giving yep. her a little room to breathe. Uh, and she now has some setups on the left side that she's going to knock down. But uh, this is starting to slip away from her. We might be going to a decider if she doesn't figure something out. But, like, that oh, amazing, these that. amazing chains of setups that she's now finding. Beautiful. That was incredible. And another. And, and now Dave is stuck it. at the top of the board here. He's got to find a way to survive. But I like what he did. That Those yellows that were just sticking up in the middle. Um, yeah, he didn't make a combo out of them. But definitely taking them down was what he needed to clear his mind to think of other things. And look at this. Beautiful drop clear by Dave. Absolutely. Uh, this is wild. I mean, I looking at these boards, trying to imagine how this game ends, and I can't even... I, can't, I could not make a prediction. I don't know if this is going to be a full clear or top out. It's, it's impossible to say. Both boards looking very full, but both players in a very, relatively even positions. This is... Uh, I don't know who's going to take this. Yeah. And, and Dave opting to take a lot of, like, top-down plays, it looks like, and instead of his normal horizontals. So I'm wondering if he's just concerned with the height of his board. Oh, look at this by Pangolin. Opening up. She has all viruses. Oh, except barring that blue in column two, all viruses are on the edge of the board, which is so hard to get to. So we'll see how she kind of works down this board and gets to those viruses. Yeah, this board is not pretty whatsoever. She is ahead by about 12 viruses at this point, but all she doesn't have access to any of them. They're all severely buried here, so she's... I think her only out might be to try to put Dave in a similar position and see if maybe she can force a top out, perhaps? Uh, either that, or she's gonna have to find some incredible setups to break through this board and get down to these viruses, but uh, I just, I don't know. And one thing we've been failing to actually talk about is the fact that the speed does not stop. So this is just getting faster and faster. And and yes, these are, are great skilled players, but even the most skilled, you know, that speed gets you and you have less and less time to uh, think up moves. Absolutely. These, these players cannot live forever. Uh, even No matter how long they uh, are able to, to last, uh, eventually the timer's going to get you. Uh, so they oh. they have to make some some plans to make progress down their boards here. Dave Smith says now uh, doesn't yet have any access. Is going to find some amazing setups here though. Wow. Uh, I, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Tangle and taking a T there, and definitely I think that was the best play instead of saving those blues for a possible horizontal later on because that's the stage we're at right now. You need to be bringing this board down and keeping control of it. Absolutely, and it's, I mean, it's easier said than done, however, and some yellow garbage is going to make it even more difficult oh. for her. Wow, that was, that was some quick movement to get that set up. One mistake, and that might have been the end of the game there. But yeah, Dave still doesn't have the virus lead at this point, and so I'm, I'm wondering when that shift will happen. Oh, it might be here with this incredible oh. drop double. Wow. That, the ability, okay, so what Pangolin just did there, in order to flip the pill, get it under a, a different pill, and slide it back in, super difficult to do, and she did it effortless, effortlessly. It was just amazing to watch. Like, I would never do that, because I would, <laughs> I would think I would mess it up, so, jeez, this is just amazing. She's starting to find, uh, setups to bring this column down the left horizontally, but I don't know if it'll be enough. It's now five to five, as, as she, she's been doing the best she can, but Dave's been making progress this entire time, slowly but surely, and now it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I think it's advantage Dave here from this fourth game. Look at how high Dave is, is kind of playing his board, and that speed is not, again, not slowing down. It's true. So, and more trash being piled on by Pangolin. Yep, uh, she, she may end up having to resort to, to playing out the top of the clock and, and just challenging Dave to, to live longer than, longer than she can at this point. And that is, that is a perfectly fine way to win in your position like this, so we'll see if she goes for it. So Dave has finally taken that uh, virus lead, 
but but his um oh beautiful that garbage is much yes and then we can see what he needs to do here clear these yellows in column three get a red drop down there and then he only has one more virus to have to worry about but mm -hmm. he's not and he's gonna it. expose I'm... it very very soon here uh, this is oh. not looking good for Pangolin. If she wants to uh, to have a chance here to force the top out, she has to act now. Dave down to one virus remaining. But it, it does have some trash on it, top, it, so... It is by no means free and clear, so yeah. this may be winnable yet. We've seen the tides turn very quickly, um, and Pangolin's gonna have to find a way to do it now to come out on top here. The speed is going so high. I think she probably has is going a little bit faster than uh, Dave at this point. Maybe you've seen him yeah. more pills. And Dave so. is going to expose his red at this point. He, he didn't take it! He did not, no. But uh, he is going to start to do it here, and I think one more yellow will do it, and we'll be going to game five. Wow! Dave on the verge of a reverse sweep, and here we go. Why is this so good, love? <laughs> this is not even loser semifinals? I... I... It's unbelievable. The penguin had first blood there with a uh, drop clear that did take a lot of drop time to do, but um, gosh, just it's amazing to see how their brains work and the, the combos that they get set up. Yeah, this is uh, this is it. This is do or die. So uh, all of these early game setups that they're making could be. The, w the one move that clinches or breaks their tournament run here. Mm -hmm. I'm like in awe right now, I can't even talk! No, this, I'm, I'm, I'm mesmerized at this point. We'll, get a, we'll see an automatic combo here for Pangolin from the garbage sent by Dave. And she will follow it up with another combo of her own doing. And it, I almost saw a little bit of a hesitation on on where uh, she's trying to like put some pills. So um, maybe a little bit of nerves getting to her, uh, knowing that this is the last match and needing to make those um, good plays to keep this uh, hers. Of course, I mean no one can blame you. This is an uh, incredibly tense moment. This is you know, when your tournament run is on the line. It's natural to be nervous. That blue garbage is horrible for Dave Smith says. He's now gonna have to find another way to set break down the setup. He will horizontally he clear it away and to a drop T with oh, another horizontal wow. setup on the way. That was great. But he is still a, a little bit dirty here. It has no access to real virus. I take it back. Sorry, Dave. Sorry. Uh, he, did, <laughs> he did clear some viruses, but yeah, like, very, very trash-heavy board on Dave's side. Absolutely. Penguin is starting to make advances down the board. She's starting to get herself a bit of an advantage here. Uh, if, but if Dave can find a lot of quick, set, quick uh, combos at the top of the board, then he can easily turn it around, as we've seen. But uh, that's going to be an auto combo. Uh, yep. And Dave is just going to garbage himself even further. This is not what he needs right now. But this setup, I think, is going to be huge. This is going to be a quad oh, for Dave. Sending four pieces of trash but over to Pangolin. A triple um, from Pangolin right back at him. Yeah, but she had so many setups and so many threes already in place just hanging there that it didn't impact her too much. They were all, all the trash went over what she already had set up. So um, it didn't impact her. And she's, again, just setting things up. And she's finding, she's finding opportune uh, garbage and, and it's, and she's taking yes. advantage of it. And now she's starting to pull ahead here. This could be the end of Dave's tournament. And the color diversity on, on her side as well, like, any pill ha that comes her way, she has a spot for it and a combo for it. Absolutely, yep. He has so many backup plans and escape routes out of some of these setups that are getting blocked off. It's incredible to see, but uh, it's not phasing Pangolin. She is still keeping her advantage. She's still maintaining her lead, maintaining a very even and low board. This is not good for Dave. He uh, is doing the best he can, though. He's making a valiant effort here, and uh, it might just work. He's going to make another drop T. Wow! Pangolin is keeping pace with, with the, her combo rate, though. I mean, she's, uh, every time she's getting dropped on, she's always sending a, a, a combo back to keep, uh, to, you know, toe the line. 
So it's uh, she's not by no means out of this. She's still in a quite a good spot here. Dave is gonna have to work even harder to do something about this. Mm -hmm. And I really, I just, I love her foresight because she's she's already having uh, tons of um, tons of combos set up, and she's just waiting for pills. And and she's like, oh, Dave's gonna give it to me. I don't have to have to set it up myself. <laughs> Dave's, yeah. Dave's combos will give it to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yep. exactly what, what's happening. So. I see a double chain. Uh, Pangolin starting to slow down on the combos. Uh, I, th I mean, just a play like Dave, I think she needs to keep up this aggression. Hopefully uh, she can do that. Gonna get some more setups blocked off here. And hopefully she, does, uh, she doesn't succumb to the pressure here. Oh, wow. Takes a... a, a Shot, uh, takes a setup on the left side instead of setting this up, but she ends up making a triple out of it to be rewarded. I just don't know. Oh, she tries to get it over just to bring that column down, and she slides the pill too far. Oh this is this could be the break that Dave needs to start mounting a proper comeback here. He has already cleaned up the center. He's and close in virus trash. count, and he's still sending more garbage. He wants this. He just needs the right blue red. This blue blue might be what she just needs to take to, to just get it. Yes, and that was, I think, the best play there, um, just to take it down. Because, again, that was just high up play and not enough time to actually think. Absolutely. I mean, sometimes you, it, even if you have the time to think, it's just correct to to not be greedy and uh, make sure that you keep your board health in line. Look! Oh, she didn't take the fat log! Oh, no. and the world weeps! <laughs> <laughs> the chat weeps, at least. Maybe not the world, but... Uh... <laughs> She is still uh, now starting to look very good. Dave's uh, board is starting to climb again. I'm sure there's some hidden setups in there that we don't have the mental capacity to find, but uh, unless he can find them, uh, Pangolin is making great progress. This speed is starting to get very dangerous, though, I have to say. Uh, and I've uh, already seen maybe a misdrop from Pangolin in the center. Yeah, and uh, Dave throwing on trash inside oh. the injury there. It's just an absolute stun lock, and there's more where that came from. Another combo sent over to Bangalore. And another one is gonna follow very shortly! Goodness. I keep wondering why um, uh, Pangolin is attempting to kind of go over to that left side instead of, um, you know, clearing up some of the stuff in the middle that will drop that down. So, but, again, you, I can't ever be in the uh, mind of a competitor when they're actually making these decisions. So, course, and honestly, uh, in the moment with the speed, it's just, uh, it's impossible to judge. Like, yeah, I don't think, and, and I don't think anyone plays their best in a tournament scenario, whether they, no matter what they tell you, so... Uh, you know, it's easy to, to make those calls from the sidelines, but yeah. uh, in, in the heat of the tournament nerves, like, it's so difficult to, to see all the best moves. Mm. Oh, I like this. I'm good. Dave's got a really nasty column 7 and 8. His right side is stacked completely up. He's gonna have to find some sort of horizontal wedge to start to chip that down. Spanklin has so much yeah. more space to maneuver and to make more setups to really bury him if she can if she can find it. Well, and all of the trash is going in her direction. Look at this. Another gift from Dave Smith in a drop combo back to him. And again, she just Oh, she decides not to clear the red in column seven. But maybe he's trying to set up for this blue horizontal? Oh, that would have been an amazing drop. I don't think she's caught quite. She's more focused on her intended setup with the yellows and the reds, but that would have been an amazing combo if she mm -hmm. did that. But it's, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. She is essentially free and clear now. Uh, this red garbage is going to put a, a damper on Lower it. Down a little bit. I think she can I think she can get it here. This double yellow will slot in, and she's oh, going to do wow. it! Pangolin defeats Dave Smith Says. Three crowns to two. What a, Wait, what an incredible I, win. I have wow. to go against this. <laughs> you know, Betty, I wasn't I wasn't going to say anything. Uh, but yes, the bad news is that not only do you have to leave us, but uh, you're going to have to play the winner of that. It's going to be Betty B versus Pangolin coming up next. So, Betty, thank you for being in the booth. Uh, I'll be cheering oh. for you to win, but I'll also secretly be hoping that you can come back to the booth after this next game. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, 
Thank so, you, love. I appreciate it. I'll see you there. Absolutely. Go get ready. And uh, everybody, we will see you momentarily. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.